it's funny, I, uh, my girlfriend and I at the time went out to dinner the uh, night before, um, and, and we had Chinese food. So, we, you know, you open up the fortune cookie, right? Well, mine said, you will soon visit a place that has long occupied your thoughts. We were doing something that was very bold, very unique, and at the same time, very risky. We didn't know enough at the time to know how crazy you were to try to do this for that amount of money. For less than the cost of the movie Titanic, we had to build a spacecraft, launch it, land it, and operate it on the surface of Mars. It looked impossible. We, we were a little bit naive, uh, very ambitious. The reality is we just didn't know that we shouldn't be able to do this. We were going to take risk. And it was take risk, don't fail. Well, the way you do that is by doing things differently, about being, by being creative about how you do the job. And we were very creative about how we did the job. Well, the whole team pretty much went at it with, with zeal and gusto and making it happen one piece at a time. We invented the technologies, we invented the, the approach, we invented the test program. The whole concept of the airbags around the tetrahedron and the rad rockets and you know the multi-stage system bouncing and rolling and retracting. We built the best machine we could possibly build. And the proof was on the 4th of July, 1997. The amazing thing was how well it worked on the 4th of July. I mean, everything worked so well. We did not expect to reliably detect a signal as we were bouncing around the surface of Mars. The fact we were getting that and I knew we were on the surface of Mars by our timeline, told me that I'm gonna get confirmation much earlier than I expected, and I didn't have to wait nearly as long, and it was a very exciting moment indeed. Absolutely one of the most gratifying moments when we heard back from uh, the Deep Space Network, that they heard from the lander, and it was all right. It was just a sense of elation, a sense of accomplishment, like few other that I've ever felt in my life.